What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Phil34, and today I'm here with my Scam Austin season... Hello, Julianne Dem, is that you? Like I was saying, I'm here with my Scam Austin Season 1 Episode 4 reaction video. What's going on, Scamly? My apologies if I've been delayed with the scam videos. I uh, sort of just fell off of it after my trip from Thailand. That being said, though, I've been hearing great things so far. Obviously not spoiler, but I've been hearing really great things about the show. Um, so I'm excited to finish it. Last things that I recall, uh, Marlon was being a headass. Some of the new boys being introduced. Uh, there was a party, there was that party sequence. Just a ton of things going on, so let's just dive right back into this episode. So, as always, if you enjoyed this one, then be sure to leave a hot like and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, uh, if you enjoyed this one, then be sure to click the little bell button next to the subscribe button so you hear when all the videos drop. And um, with that being said, y'all, let's just get into this one. Yeah, yeet. For content, this video may include profanity, crude language. Oh shit, are we going in this episode? Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's what happened again. They just yeeted out of there. That was funny. All right. Is that you, Marlon? I thought he made that beat for a second. I was like, weird. Hey. Hey, Megan. Hey. How'd it go last night? Dude, Megan. That concert was lit. It was absolutely wild. Like, I felt like I was in a zoo, but it was like people zoo. <laughs> and this guy was crowd surfing, which is extremely dangerous. I mean, he is I felt so like Kanye, and I'm pretty sure that we're gonna get a call next week to join the Illuminati. That concert was a 10. It's awesome. Questions about that? Can you just sneak it in there? the dance team guess it's more important as a dance team to solidify your social standings instead of wasting time like actually dancing right well damn the uh in it's very palpable the feelings here i sent you like 10 texts my phone died. So you're not mad that I missed the show last night? Obviously he's cheesed. What do you mean? Oh, Megan, you know I don't care about this shit. You don't care? Did anybody record it? Oh, don't worry about it, Meg. Yo, bitch boy, can you get me a Coke instead? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I like that guy. I have plans. Uh oh, so she's gonna start distancing herself from him, which may lead okay. to some bad things, like in terms of like some mishaps with the relationship. And uh, oh, my mama's here. Yo. Shoo. Selfie season. Which one? This one? Or this one? Both great. You don't think my neck looks chubby in this one? What? No. You look fire. Yeah. Yo, she, she... She literally took the words out of my mouth. What the fuck? Here's it for. Daniel? Okay, scam boss that I reached you. A little bit. Well, actually, we're kind of on a three-day streak right now. So... I guess you could say it's getting kind of serious. Actually, I think we're gonna have sex. You? Yes. <laughs> I'm you even talk to him. Oh yes, and you know I, I know it might seem rushed, but you know ever since I was a little girl watching the Super Bowl, I knew I was gonna lose my virginity to a football player. I mean Daniel's not just a football player; he's Daniel. I mean. <laughs> It's perfect. He's like perfect. Okay. All right. Fine. Sure. I just, uh, I really want to make sure that you get to know him. <laughs> she's a like, I, better. she's like, she's do right. what you want, fam, but I'm not 100% co signing this. Plus, I could tell from the way that he was kissing me that he knew what he was doing. <laughs> it was like he was going down on me. 
put it in my mouth. In my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I'm freaking dead. I know. <laughs> anyway, I have a question about birth control. Uh, Megan, you have sex with your boyfriend. Maybe I could borrow some pills from you? You should Kelsey, doctor. you can't borrow birth control. Why? Oh, right. But you know you should use a condom, right? What if he doesn't want to use a condom? Then you know you shouldn't have sex with him. Right. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> right. No, we'll definitely use a condom. Facts. And after a lot of soul searching and um, careful consideration, <laughs> I don't think Zoya should be on the team anymore. Wait, what? Again, what? Why not? Are you kidding me? She's like unstable or something. I mean, the incident on Friday proves it. We don't even know what happened. It doesn't matter. And there's no excuse for causing a scene. Because I seem to remember you saying that we needed at least a minimum of five. She's hit Well, I figured that part out. You know, I for one am not willing to rest my own reputation for someone who's like literally insane. Okay, confirm. She's like yeah, my no. favorite character. Last episode, this episode, like solidified that. He said, "Looking hot, girl." And pause. Would there I'm be? I'm the girl. <laughs> would there be uh, like Snapchats from this concert? They just think that, that she could look at Megan. But the Daniel. I mean, how do you know that? Exactly. <laughs> Yo, like, that's like... Can you believe how crazy exactly this topic how I is? Am. Seriously. <laughs> Where are all these people coming from? <laughs> yeah, no, she loves it. She's on the dance team. We're very proud. I know. Well, you know, we talk about it all the time. A college degree just isn't enough anymore. Even with that, you can barely pay the rent. She gonna delete the hearts? Oh, never mind. If the bubbles fade away, disrespect. Don't our bomber. Oh. Dave is good, you know Dave. Oh, you, oh, okay. Oh, oh, I was about to say, if you just left her on red, you're rude. Just like your mama. Mom? Oh, real talks? You know when dad's mad at you? Honey, I know we've been fighting a lot lately, but that's just the way it is, you know? It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, but speak of the devil. Yes, we're Parents too busy to help her with her problems. What do you mean? It's Tuesday. Having dinner with at Jennifer's tonight. Oh, she gonna get tickets dance for the practice. show. She never eats dinner at home on Tuesdays. Let's make it up. No, tonight. I'm not yelling at you because you asked what to buy for dinner. I'm annoyed that you don't remember that I'm going to Jennifer's by listening and taking an interest in each other's life. That's all I asked for. It's really not that much. Sorry that I yelled. This traffic is driving me crazy. She's going to roll totally up to Marlon like, yo, good kid, I'm Mad City, fine. or how to or to pimp a butterfly, man. I don't know, bro. <laughs> Austin, winter this spring. It's been summer to get here. Well, maybe not summer because summer is ridiculous in Austin. But if you just want, like, nice... Oh. So you two are smashing in that bathroom by the nurse's office? Jeez, savages. <laughs> v, you accidentally ordered two more? How did you... No, sorry. Get tickets. I know that's mad expensive. Some guy on Craigslist is selling. Okay, that's super that's sketchy. That's not creepy I don't know at if all. It's safe. This, is, the, this is uh Marlon, my boyfriend. Oh, they haven't met before. Oh. Shit. This is Shay and Tyler. What's your name? This is Kelsey and Joe, but in Spanish. Funny. So our team has finally been approved by Principal Nichols. So now that our team is like. Finally, finally oh, she's approved. She's staring at him. She's so, <laughs> <laughs> so, I have decided to give her one more chance. That's hilarious. She's grilling the But, mouth. you know, like, we have to set some ground rules and, like, have a meeting, you know? So, all of us tomorrow? Come on. I know she's a lot, but she means well. Who? Drew Barrymore? <laughs> oh! You're dissing, fam. <laughs> so, um, are you gonna get us tickets to that Kendrick concert? Because that is what's really good. You're, you're not listening? Okay. Alright, whatever. You guys are disgusting. Yeah, y'all yeah, make my drink. I'll see. This nigga said Drew Barrymore. <laughs> As all of you know, we are now officially a team. Yay! 
Well, Zoya, I'm sure you regret what you did. I don't regret shit. She deserved it. Facts. Well, why don't you ask her what the problem is and then try and fix it, you know? In order to prevent things like that from happening in the future, I've written down a list of rules. Is that it, Captain? Oh, well, no, I thought we could read through the rules together. Oh, beautiful. I have places to be. I'll get back with you with my notes. Wait, what do you mean notes? It's like she doesn't even want us to like her. I like her. Oh, my laptop's dying. Yeah. Oh, shit. How does your boyfriend make you feel? Uh, keep in mind that They're he's not, not your boyfriend. She is like A, comfortable, on B, it. bored, or C, scared. A, for sure, A. Um, next question. When you think about your first time, what is your biggest concern? A, that people will judge you for having premarital sex. B, that your boyfriend won't like you after. Or C, that it'll hurt and you'll bleed. Oh my gosh, my cousin bled so much her first time that she got anemia. That definitely didn't happen. <laughs> it did happen and she can't eat sweet tarts anymore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't. A, my boyfriend and I will have a much closer relationship. B, I Yo, will feel a sense of relief. Or C, nothing. Keep in mind, he's still not your boyfriend. Actually, can I do a combo answer? Sarah. <laughs> you know you don't have to go through with this. You can change your mind at literally any... <laughs> so clearly, like, Grace is being deadass, and she thinks she's joking, or she's, like, nervous, or it's coming off as, like, she's joking, but... How would I know what turns me on? Seriously? Me and Daniel are in a bedroom. Okay. Um, I'm sitting on the bed. I'm wearing a white dress. Tight. Just, like, loose and wavy. No, I was gonna With say, generals. it zooms out and all our friends are just I guess I gone. have longer, curlier hair. Yeah, no, people get turned on by different things all the time. Um, my cousin's thing is dirty socks. Yeah, she oh, keeps a pair foul, of her ex-boyfriends in a Ziploc bag under her bed. <laughs> that's just dirty. Ew. How sweet. He said, let's hang Friday. Me and Joe were thinking of bowling. Bring your friend Megan. She's like, wait, what? What intonation? What? He wants me to bring you. Look. I can't go. Oh, the concert. What? <laughs> Why not? Because I'm going to that Kendrick Lamar concert with Marlon. Like, please, Megan. When have I ever asked you for anything? Well, actually. Okay, wait. <laughs> Just like spend. Flips out a book. Out. Okay. Oh. Please, I will do anything. I will owe you big time. You know what a big deal this is for me. Okay. Oh, thank. <laughs> Grace is there, so yo. What a head ass, bro. <laughs> Like, I should have stayed back where I was before. <laughs> but I moved to this town. <laughs> Mitochondria oh, is the powerhouse of the cell. I only have an hour left until I have to go get Marlon. It's gonna text me and then I have to go, okay? Yeah, I got it, totally. I understand. She totally looks like she's going to prom or something, dude. Oh, shit! Okay, you're just a dick. What? Oh my god, why would you even? Why? That's just inconveniencing other people. Well, I mean, until I text you, you can keep hanging out with us, right? Because it's gonna be a little weird, you know? Two yeah. Two guys at a bowling alley. But you'll be okay alone with them, right? Oh, yeah, of course. But I mean, please stay as long as you can. Kelsey, you're trying. It's so awkward. I probably wouldn't be in the situation unless, like, I'm friends with the guys already and she's not really, so, like, pretty uncomfortable, to be honest. Anything interesting happening on your phone? No. No. Do you have any games? <laughs> so, how long are you gonna pretend that we didn't hook up at the Halloween party last year? I don't know what you're talking about. Then how'd you know my name at Talent Night? That was an accident, man. What the hell? Whatever. <laughs> you were dressed as the Black Swan. 
Dude, you're wild. <laughs> oh, I just took that in. I think they're taking that from the original scan. Dirty things to me in Spanish. But instead of it being in present day, they're doing so it in the past. Sorry. Oh, that's so no, sick. No, it was awesome. And I still thought about you afterwards. You know, you're a really good dancer. You made her feel nice. She, she was like, I, she was like, I mess with that. I'm gonna go to a concert with my, my boyfriend. boyfriend. And I'll uh, have to leave as soon as that he gets me. Gotcha. Uh, then you might want to step outside. What? Why? No signal in here. What? Oh! No, 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 no. Oh, sh oh, oh, oh shit! Yo, Marlon's finna be cheese. Oh, it's only been half an hour. It can't be that bad. I'm really sorry. I'm running late. Okay, good. Bless. That actually shook me. Wow. Dude, the show's so accurate. Like, all the time this happens to me when I was in high school. Even now, like, I'm out with somebody and, like, I'm texting and oh, I'm running late or something. But Marlon? Yeah, eh? Yeah, eh? Okay. Okay. That's how we're moving now, eh? And that was Scam Austin Season 2. Oh, Season 2, what the hell? Uh, that was Scam Austin Season 1, Episode 4. That was my reaction video, y'all. That was a solid episode. That probably might have been my favorite of the season, to be honest. Pretty much, this one focused primarily on, you know, Kelsey's you know decision that she wants to, you know, hook up with, uh, have sex with Joe. And, uh, obviously, she goes to her best friend group to ask them for support and, you know, help her through this, you know, pretty serious thing, especially in, you know, any, like, teenager's life who's learning, who's losing their virginity, whatever that may be, um or in a similar situation so i liked how they sort of address that issue and you know in a realistic manner you know going on google quizzes and shit like that's what like you do as a teenager it was good to see you know her friends helping her in a productive way for the most part especially grace you know telling her like you know are you sure this is the right thing you want to do only do it if you're comfortable and stuff like that so that was dope to see and i gotta say kelsey is definitely I think Kelsey is probably like one of my favorite characters so far in the season. It's like in the original series, like Vilda was hilarious, but I, I just the way the comedic timing and stuff is just is so funny to make that like the episode and, and the show funnier. Another highlight for me was actually seeing you know Megan sort of um, character this episode. She sort of kind of realized she messed up where it, it, she it was a mistake that she didn't go to Marlin's show and why not. So she actually went out and got these Kendrick Lamar tickets. Which so like it's a pretty big deal to be honest. Kendrick Lamar tickets aren't cheap. They're not cheap. I'm interested to see how this is gonna go now that she kind of put herself out there, try to be you know. I guess an understanding understanding and be more in tune with his world and what ends up happening is that he sees she sees him with another girl driving away somewhere so that's not a good look so I'm interested to see how all of that's gonna go as well Zoya this episode kind of just yeeted on out of there so I'm interested to see uh how she's gonna come back to the ring and how her and you know how she gets more you know comfortable integrated into the group as the season progresses that's gonna wrap up for this video as always if you enjoyed it then be sure to leave a hot like and subscribe if you haven't already again if you want to get up-to-date notifications right when these videos drop then be sure to click the little bell button next to the subscribe button anyway though with that being said i'll see you next time peace